lost my voice in the second quarter. So communication was rough. But it was a great game. It was a great game. Uh, our guys never, never gave up, fell behind, came back. And that game kind of hinged on one play here or there. It's got to make one play. And they just made more than we did in the end. That was it. The team makes the plays down the stretch. We're probably going to win the game. But to come back like we did, uh, we should. We got a lot of character. A lot of character. That team, great team. I mean, they're so big and strong. And we fought. I mean, I'm proud of my kids. How they fought. They really did a good job tonight. I know they're upset because they didn't win the state championship. But I'm certain after this wears off a little bit, they'll realize that what they accomplished this season was unbelievable. It's just unbelievable what they did. John, you guys shot 23% in the first half. How frustrating was it to watch your open books just not drop? Uh, I mean, it's really frustrating. We work a lot of time in practice on our fundamentals and getting those shots, and uh, tonight just they just didn't fall. So I mean, it's really frustrating when practice. I mean, shots we're practicing every day, but just how the ball rolls. Matt, you guys had Matt. nothing specific drawn up on that last possession there. What were you guys going for? Uh, yeah, we were trying to. Then Mel was trying to throw to John at half court, and then he was going to turn and throw to me running up the sideline and trying to get a three, but he wasn't open. I wasn't open, so we had to throw it up to Mitch and then. Uh, now, a lot of people who watched this game tonight probably thought that was one of the best games of your career, but in actuality, this a pretty standard night for you. The stage was just a lot bigger. Talk about how you really kept your team in the game when you know things were getting tough. Yeah, they were playing a 3-2 zone, so you have to get the ball inside or get it outside to shoot threes to kind of break down the zone. And we had to force them to play man in the second half, which kind of helped us get back in the game. And uh, I wasn't really playing well the last two games, so I had to carry my team for the last game. But they get all the way. Talk about the last play in regulation that Hardnett goes up and makes that shot. I don't know if you tried to draw a foul or you got hit, but you fall down there with four seconds left. They end up throwing a shot up at the rim. Just talk about that sequence. Yeah, I was uh, trying to get the ball up the court, and three guys converged on me, and I just tried to draw a foul. And they probably wouldn't call a foul no matter what in the last four seconds. And I lost the ball, and they luckily missed that shot. Coach, flashbacks from the last time you were here, you know, the last time you were here, when that first overtime buzzer sounded, what, what was going through your head? Well, I was a little bit upset because I, I felt like, you know, all we needed to get was one stop right there, you know, and it, I think it was an offensive rebound they scored on, wasn't it? If I'm not mistaken, it was a tie. Was no, it, yeah, well, that, was, that was an overtime. They got the offensive oh, okay. rebound when right. they went over John's back. Yeah. yeah. And that, I mean, it's just a game of plays. They made more than we did. That's all. You know, I, I wasn't thinking about 1998 at all. Yeah. I was thinking about 2017 the whole time. Your, your guys' career comes to an end. I know you guys have had a very successful career done a lot of big things for Coin Orchard. Just talk about how you two are going to reflect on kind of the legacy you left at Coins Orchard. Uh, I mean, well, obviously, I have really fond memories playing together. I mean, he's my best friend. I've had a time in my life playing with him for three years. Uh, I mean, we won the region for the first time since 2000. So, I mean, we did some stuff in school history. But, uh, I mean, we'll look back and reflect, and it'll be a great season in the end. But uh, right now, we're just really disappointed we didn't get the last one. Last question. Anyone? Daniel, you'll be you'll be back next year as you know, probably the de facto leader of this team. A lot of guys graduating. Just I know I know it's tough to look ahead to next year right now, but just talk about what you have in store as being the guy next year. Uh, well, I know I'm gonna come out and I'm gonna work hard. Harder than I've ever worked before because I don't wanna let these guys down this year and let them go out this way. So I'm just gonna do my part and try to make sure that we get back here next year. Coach, what's going to be remembered the most just about Matt and Johnny? What's, what's going to be remembered? Unbelievable competitors. Unbelievable competitors and leadership.